Harbor Freight, Sentech. Item 62306, 3-in-1, Jumpstart Power Pack. Let's find out what's inside. The Jumpstart box, some instructions, packaging materials, the power lead, which appears to be a non-polarized uh, Edison two-prong. And of note is this card that tells you to charge the thing and charge it more and charge it every week. Uh, charge it every month and charge it every use. Let's see what's inside the thing. Oh, uh, where's the... There we go. Green light. Trap is clean. Okay, so for the other end of the charging, there's this little, uh, flip-out pluggy thing on the back. I'm assuming this, uh, cutout is just big enough to fit a Euro-style plug in there. Uh, I like these clamps. They're very... <laughs> they very thoughtfully plated the spring, copper plated the spring, so that's going to be a great conductor. Dun dun dun! dun. Oh, the back, it's just a crappy wall wart stuck in the back there. Zip tied in. Twelve volt, seventeen amp hour battery. I'm assuming this is the date code, seventh month, twenty seventeen, which would make this battery about a year old as of today. Okay, one crack with Mr. Vice caused the case to pop right open. There is uh, relatively few components inside, and what's there is actually through hole. Uh, it is a single chip. The number is plainly on there. And here is the data sheet. It is a Onbright 2536 uh, CCCV uh, offline switch mode power supply commonly used for cell phone charger, digital camera, etc. There is the textbook uh, typical application circuit diagram, which to my untrained eye and very quickly looking at this appears to be pretty much exactly what that is. So this would probably overcharge any battery you just hooked it directly up to. Uh, which means that that circuitry there has some smarts in it, which, based on the behavior in the manual, where it says the three LEDs on the front blink to indicate uh, charge status, Nuvo 10. Anyway, I'm sure there's maybe some information on that, but anyway, I'm, I'm fairly certain that in order to use this, uh, that, power supply, you need this here board in order to charge one of those. And the capacity was 6.8 amp hours. It was pulling 7.75 amps, about 100 watts when it first started out. Uh, it went for about an hour, maybe 50 minutes. And now after sitting for a minute, the voltage has risen back up to 12 from its cutoff of 10.5. So now I'll put it back on the charger and we'll see how much it takes to charge. All right, this is after test number two. I dropped the load down to 50 watts. It was pulling uh, 4.5 amp hours and it put out 6.5 two, three half hours, right? About the same as yesterday, if not a little worse. Okay, well this time I'm going to charge it with a different battery charger and see if it takes more, but I'm getting the suspicion that this is a pretty crappy battery. Alright, so we've just completed a cycle with the charger and uh, the finishing voltage. 
13.3 and it's taken 7.2 amp hours. So I'm going to say this battery is likely junk.